This video is mainly for OneNote users interested in getting started with Obsidian. We're going to compare how the notes are organized in Obsidian versus in OneNote. At the highest level, Obsidian organizes its notes by vault. This is comparable to the notebook in OneNote. And when you first launch Obsidian, you have a few different options. Quick Start will create a new vault for you in your documents folder with the default name Obsidian Vault. If you want more control, let me go back to the main window, and you want to specify the name and location where the vault is saved, you can choose Create New Vault. Here you can pick your vault name. I'm just going to name it Main Vault. And choose a location for the vault by hitting Browse. I'll just choose a document folder and hit Create. Okay, so we see the vault name on the top left. Now, if you want to create an additional vault or open an existing vault, select this icon here that says Open Another Vault. And this brings us to the same menu box we just saw. This time, rather than creating a new vault, let's open an existing one. I created this test vault so that we can easily compare Obsidian's folder structure with OneNotes. Let's move this to one side of the screen so that we can bring up OneNote on the other side. As I mentioned earlier, Obsidian's vault is like a notebook in OneNote. So here you can see on the left we have Project A Notebook in OneNote. And then here in Obsidian we have the Project A Vault. And just as we can have multiple notebooks in OneNote, we can have multiple notebooks or vaults in Obsidian. So if we go back to this Open Another Vault, you can see that we have three notebooks open. Obsidian Vault is the one that we created with Quick Start. Main Vault is the one that we manually created by defining the name and the location. And Project A is the active notebook that we have now. So one level down from the notebook, we have these sections in OneNote. Uh, similarly, we have folders in Obsidian. And as you can see, they're comparable. I set it up so that it's easy to compare. We have Activities Overview, Meeting Notes, Mobile POS, New Store Opening, and Physical Inventory. Uh, similarly, we have the same set of sections just laid out in the folder structure. However, in Obsidian, we can have as many folders as we'd like. So if you want to create another folder within Activities Overview, we can create another one, drag it underneath, and then we can name it whatever we like. Then we finally have note pages where we can take notes. So here in the Meeting Notes section, you can go to Test Notes. You have the notes here, we have the notes here. One big advantage of Obsidian over the other note-taking applications like OneNote is that the entire notebook structure is transparent in the File Explorer. So for example, if I were to open up File Explorer and navigate to Documents, Project A, let's bring this to the left side of the screen. As you can see, the entire folder structure is replicated here. Activities Overview, Meeting Notes, Mobile POS, New Store Opening, Physical Inventory. And if I click on one of these folders and go to the actual notes, I can open it. I can open these notes in any text editor because these are markdown files. And this means that your notes are not locked away in some proprietary application, which is really helpful because if you ever decide to leave Obsidian, and take these notes somewhere else, it's very easy to do that. One thing that frustrated me as I was creating folders and notes was that regardless of where I was in the navigation, the new notes and folders were always being created in the root folder, which is the vault itself. I learned that you can change this default behavior in the settings by going to Options, Files, and Links, and then under the default location for new notes, you can change it from the default option of 
vault folder to same folder as current file. This way the new notes and folders will be created in the same section that you're currently in. I think using a familiar folder structure is a natural way to get started in Obsidian. And as you get more familiar with the app, you can explore other ways to organize your notes like using tags and links. Again, there's no right or wrong way to organize your notes. It really depends on the type of notes you're working with and what ultimately works best for you. In the next video, let's start creating some actual notes and explore how we can format them. Mm -hmm.